Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today I want to talk about social media and why social media plays such a huge role in being a modern day polymath. Um, so let's, let's take a look at this real quick. The whole premise of being a polymath is to find connections in seemingly unrelated topics and fields. And one of the things that uh, a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs and just people in general uh, across the board, all different ages, all different you know races and, and religions, one of the things that sometimes they take for granted is social media and how important it is not just for making friends and posting ridiculous videos, but also for helping build your cause and helping get the word out and um, for a business, you know, getting your brand out there. There's, there's so many benefits to this and the unfortunate thing is that so many people don't understand, excuse me, don't understand how it's all kind of interconnected and woven and, and how it can help. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a couple interesting tidbits that maybe are going to be, you know, going to affect you and, and you'll say, wow, I didn't know that. Or maybe you won't care. But the thing is, so these numbers vary from day to day. But, you know, overall, you have roughly 1.7 billion people in the world using some form of social media. Now, that's an incredible number. Last I checked, uh, there are roughly 7 billion people on the planet. So if you take into account those who are children, those who are elderly, those who live in third world countries where technology isn't quite up to par yet, when you, when you take all of those people and you take a look at it, um, it's, that's a huge number of people. That's a huge percentage of the world's population that use social media. Now, not all of them use it well, but the point is they're on it. They're there. Their attention is, if you're trying to get it for whatever reason, for whatever cause that you have, that's where you can go to get someone to listen to you, someone to, to look at you, someone to understand you people to connect with and um, and as a polymath those of us who are trying to develop answers and solutions to big problems people social intelligence and social dexterity is one of the most critical fields perhaps the most critical field in almost any problem, any any solution to any problem, that's where that's where you're going to get the biggest bang for your buck. Because as a society, everything we do is driven by people, not by computers, not by paper, not by not by bits and bytes. It's translated and transferred through those things, but the the ones who are making those decisions, the ones who emotions are behind it, are the people. And so if you're trying to get people to your cause, you got to go where they are. And um, the social aspect of any problem is the most important. Because we see so many times in politics and in law that it is the will of the people it is the how how people are reacting to a certain controversial topic that ultimately provides enough momentum to either send it on its way or crush it down to the ground so a um, couple other statistics here that you might want to know roughly 98% uh, of people who are using social media are in the 18 to like 25 ish um, age range so 
there you have people who uh, so what what does that say that that tells us that a lot of the people who are on social media are younger they're part of the Gen Y uh, generation and so with that comes a whole different mentality than what a lot of what a lot of people from earlier generations um, are familiar with or used to and so the thing is though as these individuals get older and they continue to use this and proliferate it, pro proliferate it even further um, these are the devices these are the mediums the platforms in which you're going to be able to get their attention and build meaningful relationships with them and help them understand who you are and what you're what you're for or against uh, another interesting thing that I thought was very very cool is so YouTube I think is the greatest because if you're gonna let people know about you and yes there's multiple medium out there but YouTube is a, a, a platform that allows you to to let people it, it's the closest thing to a face-to-face -face conversation you can have you guys can see my mannerisms you can see a little bit into where I'm from and my house you get to learn about me my tonality um, how I dress how I present myself as a person and so just as you would in real life you know gravitate towards people that are um, sort of like-minded and veer away from those that aren't YouTube and video in particular allow that to be a much more organic process as it would be in real life and so YouTube um, according to recent statistics has 490 million unique visits every single day to YouTube that's insane so you're talking about millions upon millions upon millions of viewers on YouTube every day people it's like a huge information highway people just going back and forth back and forth the question is how are you gonna get their attention and number two for you who are you who are you looking for right I'm looking for polymaths people who are like-minded who believe that it takes a multifaceted approach and mindset and cross-pollinated person to help solve some of these bigger issues in the world and whatever it is whatever your message is whatever it is that you believe 490 million people that's plenty of fish in the sea to find a few that believe the same thing that you do and if you find enough of them and you get them together and you start leading them as Seth Godin would tell you start a tribe and and start you know this is where it can all begin this is where it can all start um let's see what other interesting statistics can I tell you 2.9 billion hours on YouTube every day people spend 2.9 billion hours watching YouTube every day wrap your mind around that that's a lot it's a lot of time people are spending watching videos just like this normally how to's or or just entertainment but the point is people's attention is here so um, for those of you who want their attention I don't know I'll, I'm gonna keep saying why aren't you using YouTube right and then um, the last thing I want to talk about is um, well so if if you take all of that into consideration you have been given a wonderful opportunity through social media and I used YouTube as an example but Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn all of these different platforms have their own particular benefits to 
to what they bring to the table. My point is, you need to find out how you fit into those um, different realms and what your purpose is on there. What, what are you going to provide and do um, for other people on there to help them get associated with your cause? Uh, because as a polymath, and I can't stress this enough, <clears throat> without people, you're not going to be able to do a lot. When we look at all the greats in the past and in modern day, they still had to have um, patrons, right? Leonardo da Vinci, through his whole life, had some sort of patron. Or in the beginning of his career, it was more of a, he had a mentor. But people who were there to help support his cause and his, his art. And um, Christopher Columbus is another great example of someone who used kings and queens to help get his mission um, accomplished. Nowadays, we don't have to go to some super rich person to be a patron. All we have to do is find like-minded people who believe the same thing that we do and l let them understand what our cause is. And they will, they will continue to support you because they believe it and they want to see it to fruition as well. They want to be a part of it. It's a part of, they want to become a part of that collective story, the tribe story. Um, so that in their life they can look back and say, I was, I did this. It had meaning to me. I felt something. My life was enriched because of that. So of course, one of the most important things is having a dream or goal or objective that other people are going to rally towards. But the next thing and the point of this video is finding those people and and getting the information out you have to have a venue for that you have to have some some sort of way to to do this and no better time there has been no better time than now with all the the tools and opportunities that you have available to you to reach out and connect to people worldwide worldwide not thousands not hundreds of thousands millions of people you can connect with a click of the button. So, I hope this has been helpful, and why don't you give a thought today and just ask yourself, you know, what, what platform is best suited towards my skills and abilities? What platform is best suited towards people who are like-minded? Um, and, and don't try to jump into all of them at once. Just focus on one at a time. Do one one month, then the next month focus on another one until you build enough momentum and just keep returning back to those ones that those platforms that 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 suit you the best for your mission and continue to build and and push and grow and um and you'll I think you'll do great so um until until I see you guys next time if uh, if this video has been helpful if you could give me a like, share it, subscribe to my channel so you can get more great content like this. But, um, okay, I'll catch you next time.